Hey, it's you again. What do you got? Brought for you a book, The Book of Mormon. Is it the play or the book? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely the book. It's even harder to get this than tickets to the play. Oh, that must be really difficult then. <laughs> The Book of Mormon is not just a book of theology, it's really a book that talks about the American experience. This is the fifth edition, and this was the last one that was actually printed in Joseph Smith's lifetime. I'm gonna ask 25,000 for my book. I think that's like the least I would take. I tried to price things very reasonably. There are a lot of Mormon collectors. That is really, really cool. Yeah, I mean, the Mormons were really important to American history. You know, they started more or less the westward expansion of the United States. All right, is it an older version of it, or? Yeah, well, this is a version that was printed, actually, in 1842. This one wasn't printed in many copies, maybe 600-something copies. So I was gonna ask something on the order of, like, $25,000 for it. Damn. This book isn't just significant to Mormons. It's a unique historical document. And if there's one thing I know, you have to be extremely careful when you're buying books. So I've called in Rebecca to check it out. I bet you have something good for me if Adam's here. Um, the Book of Mormon. The Book of Mormon. Wow, this is actually really hard to find. There are historians who refer to the Mormon movement as the largest and in some cases most successful American experiment in utopic communities. The Book of Mormon is hugely important in American history because this is America's most successful homegrown religion, and this is the key text for that religion. Rick, this is by far the most valuable book you've ever had me appraise. Colloquially, it is known as the fifth edition. For a lot of books, later editions don't hold a ton of value because they're not the first. But these early editions of the Book of Mormon will still hold a lot of collectible value because of all of that history. Okay, so? I would appraise this book, actually, at about $40,000. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I always like you, but today you're particularly wonderful. There we go. You're the best. Happy to help. Nice to see you again, Evan. A Thank real you for pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> see ya. Realistically, what's your best price? I think 25000 was really fair. So you would take twenty three. I really think it's a $40,000 book. You'll sell it. There's a lot of demand for it. Can you give me a little and just let me do $24,000? Uh, you gave me an extra 1000 last time. This time I'll give it to you, so we'll do okay. it that way. It's a deal. When Rebecca said $40,000, I felt it was like, maybe like Joseph Smith when he found the plates. Hallelujah. <laughs>